Hello. So uh, today I'm going to uh, explain as to how we did this uh, time slot management. And um, as you can see here, we have different days of the week, and we have enabled a uh, few of them, and we have disabled uh, it on Saturday. We have enabled a few time slots here. <clears throat> so you can just click on any of the time slots to enable that time slot. And if you click on it again, it will be disabled. Right. Uh, so with regards to uh, the backend, what we have done is we have something called new time slots, um, where you add the user who is available or not. Okay. Uh, this is the user. Uh, this is a um, date and time. Okay. And this is the VP. And uh, if you go to therapist availability, then we have available or not, date, therapist, and weekdays. So let's go to the app data to check a few times, but just to explain how we have managed this. As you can see, <clears throat> some therapist okay is available at uh, 9, 9 30, 11, 11 30, and 12, 12 30 okay. uh, on Thursday. So basically, on the front end, it's like on Thursday they are available and the times that they are available. Okay, that, that's what we are seen here so for example um, I just change this to somewhere else and you can see that 9 and 30 11 11 30 and 20, 20, 30 for this particular user and if I just add two more slots here then we'll be able to see that over here okay. that is 10 10 30 uh, similarly, on the top, what here we have is therapist availability. That means a particular therapist is available on a particular date or not. Do we have any filters here? Yes, we have. Some random. As you can see, this particular user is available on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And that's what is being shown here. So if I add Friday here, then you will see Friday getting added here. Okay, and we can add any time slots required for that particular day. <clears throat> now, uh, how are we managing the special time slots and uh, normal time slots? So if we go to time slots, if you observe the time field, and we are generally keeping this Jan 1st, 2022 because that's already passed. Okay. So if if we just add any of the time slots, for example, 8, 8, 13, 9, 9, 30, I've added four time slots for this person. And if we go here, we have any filters here. Yes, I'll just remove that. And if you see, we have added four time slots now for Friday. And that is 8, 8, 30, 9, 9, 30. Okay. And all of this is added on Jan 1st, 2022. Okay. But if we go to special time slots, okay, and then we are adding it on that special day itself. That is July 14th. Okay. So that means to say that when, when you generally click on any of these time slots, it will be added on Jan 1st. The, any any of the past dates and if it's special time slots then we will mark it on that particular day so when the user goes to book a slot when they click on a date we check if there is any time slot for that particular day or not if it's there then we will show those time slots if it's not there then we will show them the time slots which are booked on that particular weekday provided they mark that particular day as available 
for that particular weekday as a pelipper. I hope this helps. Thank you.